Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you'll be learning how to make this Ankara satellite fascinator. Please stay tuned. You be beautiful. You be beautiful. So the materials needed for this fascinator are Ankara, your net, your embellishment gum, your Halis band, your millinery wire, your mold, your bias, and your quill. Alright, so this is an already made base. I bought it from the market. But it's very soft, okay? So it's too flexible. And to just make it more rigid, I'm going to add a hard brim to the base. So this is what I'm going to do. I took the millinery wire and I just took the measurements, okay? And I'm finishing up with a thread. I'm trying to tie up the edges. Okay. For all my fascinator tutorials, this is not a new thing to do. So you may want to also watch other videos for my fascinator to see how I end up um, putting the two edges together. It's simple. Just put the two edges together. Use a thread. Make sure it's firm. You can finish up by tying it or applying a gum at the edge. So I'm just trying to secure very tightly. Make sure you secure tightly so that it won't loosen up. So I'm just trying to tie it very well. Just make sure it's the measurements before you cut off your millinery wire. Okay, so I'm just placing it now and I'm sewing in and out like so. And I'm making sure the thread is passing over the hat wire so that it can be in place. I hope you can see that properly. Okay, I, I want you to see it better. So look at what I'm doing. I'm bringing it putting it in, bringing it out and I'm making sure the thread is covering it. Please use matching color of thread. I believe you can see that properly. And I'm just going to do that all round, all round. Alright, see how firm it looks now? It's very firm. That is the essence of adding the hat wire. It makes your your base very firm. Okay. So I'm just going to add um, a cut another millinery wire. So this is about 60 inches. Okay, 60 inches and uh, that is what I've just cut out from the middle. The millinery wire is long, so you just have to cut out the dimension you need. So I cut out 60 inches for this Ankara fabric and just like the way I did the first part that is the mold I'm going to also secure the edges like so okay so you can either get an already made base which I think it's safer or you mold yours from the scratch I think I'm still going to put a tutorial one of these days on how to make your own, your own base from the start okay so what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just folding the edges north east west south <laughs> or however I want to call it and I'm using my pin to secure um, I think the last fascinator I made it was um, uh, it was not straight it was kind of bent as a style but this one I want it straight I mean, I want the circle to just be a perfect circle. I don't want it slanted. So I'm using my pen to hold it. If you have a peg, please use your peg to hold it instead of baby pen. It's even easier and better. But see, all my pegs are missing. <laughs> my son is the, is the one running it. 
Okay, that's just some joke. But I can't find all my picks. That's why I'm using those pens there. So I'm just, you know, I'm removing some of those pins because it's not really forming the perfect circle that I want. You know that at wire is quite flexible. So if you do it too tight, it will form another shape. If you loosen it too much, it will be firm. So you just have to be very patient with it. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure the kind of circle I want is forming. So you might want to turn it to the other side to check what you are doing. I'm just trying to rearrange the things, trying to put it better in order to get a perfect circle. Sometimes you want to cover the wire, or the mineral wire with some pliers, but this is Ankara, it's already covering it, so no need to do that. So I noticed that it slants, I mean, it, the circle is coming up, going down, and all of that, so I had to release the tension a bit so that it can be flatter. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Right, so I think this is better. I'm just going to trim off the Ankara fabric. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. You can also use your gum to hold it down. But I, my gum was almost exhausted, so I just had to manage it. So I decided to sew it. You can even use your needle and thread to sew it all around. And why sewing it? Make sure you sew it very close to the edge because you are still going to cover it. The rough edges, you are going to cover it with some bias. So I've taken it to the sewing machine, I've sewn mine like I said earlier. You can also use your needle and thread, okay? You can even do whatever you are doing without using the sewing machine. You can use your needle and thread and your, and your gum all the way, seriously. And it will make a very beautiful fascinator. So it doesn't have to be a sewing machine, okay? So I'm trying to trim off the excess parts of the Ankara fabric. You know you do, make sure you do a neat job. I wasn't like as at the time I did this. If not, I would have given it a good purse. So I'm going to cut uh, the same Ankara fabric, fabric in bias. Bias is folding into two, diagonally cutting it out. I already explained in one of my videos, I think the brighter fascinator, the brighter satellite fascinator is folding di diagonally and getting a strip out of it. Someone may want to ask me, why must you fold it? Can't you just cut it straight? No, you. I want to use it to sew a circle. Okay, and bias, uh, when you cut the fabric on bias, it's stretch. So it makes it easier for you to sew. That is why it's good to always cut your fabric in bias if you want to, especially when you want to sew a curvy hedge. I hope you get the gist. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is you fold it into two like so. I already explained. I did an elaborate explanation on my previous my previous fascinator tutorial. Okay, so you can either go on it that way or you sew it that way. So what me I want to do is I want to sew it that way. Look at it, I folded into two four parts and I just stitched like so. Okay, so I've done that. See, I can't I can't even differentiate the front and the back again. Everything is just blending. This Ankara fabric, it's you know how it looks now. If you are doing it, I 
quality and color it's always like that okay so this is my net okay and I've cut out my my ring oh did I just say ring I mean hat wire I've cut it out now and I cut out 36 inches 36 inches okay so I'm just trying to finish the edges like I've done to the other wire to all my subscribers I, I want you to know that I appreciate you and I love you so much thank you for subscribing thank you for loving my channel I'm grateful and if this is your first time we are so glad to have you here Should I sing you a welcome sir maybe another time okay so I'm just placing the art wire on my lace fabric and I'm just doing the same thing I did to the Ankara like I said you can use your peg to hold it down Okay, so that it can be easy for you to sew and so that you can have a perfect circle. Okay, so what I was saying the other time is you might want to use your bias, your bias stripe. I got this from the market as well. You can want to use it to cover it up. Some do that. Okay, I even do that. It depends on what I want to achieve. But most times I like finishing up the edge of my wire by sewing with bias. Okay, I, I, I feel it gives it a more professional look that's why i do that however it also depends on what i want to achieve okay so i'm not covering this wire with buyers now because i'm still going to sew with buyers so at the long run you won't be seeing the art wire okay it will be well covered so i'm done sewing and i'm just trimming off the edges So this is the already made by hands and go from the market and I'm going to fold into two like so and I'm going to sew all around. So I've sewn all around and it's so nice. Okay, so I'm just going to place on the other fabric. You can either sew it round or you comb it round. So I sewn my round. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I want to place my base or your mold, the one I had at the hat wire at the beginning, and I'm going to sew it on top of those two pieces together so i'm just going to bring in my needle from outside to inside please watch how i'm doing it can you see that outside take it in bring it outside again and I'm just going to do like that whole round around around <laughs> till I finish up some things actually take patience but the, the um, outcome of it is what the patience okay So I am done. Or oh, almost done. Now what I want to do is to cut out the place. I first use the blade and now I'm using scissors to cut it out. Even if I don't do a voice over I don't even talk. Or say something to this video i believe it's self-explanatory right okay so i'm just adding gum i'm actually using old gum but my old gum is exhausted so what i did was to divide it into two use my finger to scoop out the remaining gum as far nothing was waste <laughs> so that's what i'm doing i'm just applying the gum and i'm just putting it i'm saying that in case someone is wondering why is she using her finger okay it's because i'm scooping the gum out of, from the already left old gum In case you are hearing a background noise, please ignore. 
I mean shouting, screaming, and all of that. Those are my children showing themselves. <laughs> I mean children will always be children. Wait to consign them now. On top say they do video. Okay, so I'm just coming my bias stripe as well so that it can come out neat. You know, to just give it a, a nice finished look actually. Please be careful when gumming so that the gum doesn't stain whatever you are doing. The gum already stained a little part of my work there. I tried to remove it anyway. But please be very careful when gumming because gum can stain your work if not well handled. So I'm also going to use bare stripe for that place. I'm going to use it to cover the stitches we made. You know, we did some stitching for that place. I'm also going to come in. Okay, so this is um three by three inches of fabric, and I'm going to just cut out on the fabric. By the way, I used about 27 inches of Ankara fabric to make this beautiful head piece. Okay, I didn't use up to a yard. So if you have some leftover fabric can use it to do exactly what I've just used it to do so your Ankara leftover pieces is perfect for this okay so I'm going to actually use this to make petals okay I have a tutorial on how to do this I made I made one of my fascinators you know want to go check one head piece I did color blue or so I did exactly something like this so you may want to check it for a more elaborate tutorial however it's very easy to do I'm still going to explain it Right, so you are going to fold diagonally like that and fold again then you're going to use your needle and your thread to sew like you are just sewing normal sewing please stay close to the edge of the fabric and after sewing it you want to drag it like maybe you are doing a gathers something like that then you close up just stitch up And guys you have your petals huh. okay so I'm going to make many of these at the long run I think I was able to make 46 of these okay so what you want to do next is you want to create flower out of this <clears throat> sorry so what happened was I wasn't really sure of how many I can make from this so I was just trying to try out okay, it can be it can be as big as you want it to be okay you can make a very big one you know it depends on the number of petals so I started by like okay if I want to have like four flowers let me do something like five for a start so I'm just applying gum to the edge just exactly what you can if you look at the video you will understand what I'm doing okay so please just watch and pay attention I was contemplating on either using six or five, but I used five anyway for a start.
that is three petals so I used three petals to form something so I tested I was just using it to test how it was going to come out on that five So I want to make another one now. I'm going to go like four, four of that together. You can use your wool gum. You can even sew it too. Okay, but just use your gum. It's faster and easier with gum. And um, if you have your wool gum, please use your wool gum. You know, so um, candle gum. That's the glue gum I'm using. We had to eat. So sometimes when you dwell so long under the sunlight, the the part the candle gum can be melting. But it doesn't. I've been using candle gum for a long time and it has not really disgraced me. Not even really. It hasn't disgraced me at all. Okay, it's good. It's it's not bad. Okay, but I'm just telling you that um, candle gum can melt under a very high temperature. However, it's not bad. Yeah, so I did five, five, um, five petals, four petals, and three petals. But this is two anyway. So I'm just going to. I did five, four, two. So I'm doing another one. Just follow the video. You will understand how I made this. It's so easy. You can always reach me through my WhatsApp number, so please feel free to reach me. So it depends on what you want to achieve or the number of the petals you have. Okay, so you can start with seven and decrease the number seven, six, five, four, three, or seven, five, three, one. Just you know, be creative. Do any number you want to form petals. Okay, you can do even numbers. You can do six and reduce to four, reduce to two, and maybe one at the same time, or even put a bead. So however you want it, feel free to explore, okay? For me, I did 5, 4, and 2. There was one I did 5, 3, 1, okay? I was just trying to make sure the petal was enough, that's why I did mine like that.
So we have our flowers. It's nice, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. At the long run, I added some beads to this. Although I didn't do that. I didn't do that rather on camera. It was while I was done with it. I was like, okay, let me add some beads to make it beautiful. Okay. And this is our quill. All right. So I'm just going to glue it to that part. And I'm attaching our Ankara flowers. So just explore your creativity, okay? <laughs> I was just thinking, where will be fine? Where will not be fine? Should I put it up? Should I put it down? Well, I ended up putting it straight like so. So with the leftover pet, I just wanted to do something with it. Like I can't stress myself, I'm not end up using it. <laughs> yeah. So I had to do something with the remaining ones of like. So I just placed it like that, the first one. I'm doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fine. As in, I'm tripping. Okay, so I added some. This is a chain stone or a stone chain, as you may want to call it. So I feel I should just embellish the if I need to with that. So I'm just putting using my gun. To just gum it all around just to make it finer you know to add some bling bling <laughs> like we say in Nigeria I want to add some bling bling to it And here we are. It's actually nice, though, really. It's fine. Okay, so I just want to put my Hallis band. I already determined the position I want it to be. And I'm going to glue it, guys. You have an Ankara Fascinator. It's looking gang gang. It's so fine, really. So will you be trying it out? Let me hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I do hope to see you some other time. Please do well to take care of yourself. Alright, bye.